Okay, so here we are, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select students to progress monitor. So as you can see, I'm signed in, and it is me and my caseload. The first thing that um, we're going to need to do is click on manage students here. Okay, just taking a couple minutes to get going. So um, now my student uh, lives at in Wayne Knight, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then my student is a fifth grader. So for you, you're going to choose your school and your grade. Go ahead and press search. Okay. So my student's name is sample student, and this only goes through for student comma sample. So we're going to go through here to next. There's my student. I'm going to place a check, and you can do multiple checks on yours. Uh, I'm just going to do one student, so we'll go ahead and get this. And then we want to make sure that we use the add PM button, not the transfer button, because we're not transferring this student between sites. So we'll click add PM. Now, you always want to use the schedule wizard. This is the easiest way to go about it. So we're going to go ahead and press OK. And this should zip me on back to my, um, oh, not quite yet. So uh, we're going to be using the reading RCBM for our progress monitoring. We want to go ahead and click that. And then we're going to press Next. OK. So um, today's date is going to show up in this window, and that's fine. Now our end date this year is going to be the last Friday in April. So that gives us, um, you know, some time before school is out to kind of button everything up. So let's go ahead and select that day. Now we are going to progress monitor every two weeks. And as far as the day, you can set that for whatever day you like. Uh, for me, I like to set it for a Monday or Tuesday because if something happens Monday or Tuesday, I have some days before the weekend to get caught up. Whereas if I make it for Friday, then I may not get to it. The weekend will happen and then I've forgotten about it and the next week rolls right along. So um, I would suggest Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest. Now down here at the bottom, you can see um, this, this, uh, the wording periodic reviews. So what you're going to do is you're going to select eight weeks. And what this does is AimsWeb will give you a little signal that it's been eight weeks since you started progress monitoring and you should look and see um, really if the interventions that you're doing are making a difference and um, really evaluate the scores. And this just gives you a reminder. Now, um, you can choose to ignore the reminder and nothing will happen. It just It's just a little signal to you that it's been eight weeks. So go ahead and um, set it for eight weeks and then we'll hit the Save button. Okay, so now here we are with our student and I'm going to go ahead and stop and we will um, figure out how to enter all this data in the next video.